welcome to this week's episode. We are counting down the top 10 cruising catamarans as voted by you. So for those of you who don't know, over the last 12 months, we have been reviewing almost all of the catamarans on the market. We devised a scoring system with your help, I might add. There were five categories, each had 10 points each, so a total score of 50 points per catamaran. So based on those scores voted by you, today we are counting down the top 10 cruising catamarans. So let's get started. So welcome all to the top 10 catamaran countdown. This is a result of three boat shows, 19 reviews and one year's work. The exquisite X5. So this is the Neisner 500 SE. Balance 526. This is the beautiful so boat. This is the Antares 44 GS. So just a quick rundown as to how this all works. We developed an app. We asked you to vote on the catamarans we reviewed. Five separate categories, 10 points for each category, 50 points in total. And a massive thank you to the four and a half thousand of you that left your own independent views. This is now the largest collection of Cataran reviews, which have no dealer bias anywhere on the internet. Let's see what came in at 10. In 10th place, the British builder Discovery and the Discovery 50 Catamaran. Now you absolutely love this boat and 32.7 out of 50 gives you 10th place. What did we love about it? Well, the insides and the outside, everything is absolutely fantastic. The build quality, the finish is luxurious and this is of course a semi-custom build. So you get to choose lots of different aspects of this boat. Honestly, a fantastic luxurious cruiser to take you comfortably around the world. Well done Discovery 32.7. One up from the Discovery in ninth place is the Leopard 45 Catamaran. Now the Leopards are a firm favourite of liverboards and charters alike and 32.9 was the score that you awarded it. The positives for the Leopard 45, well the interior you found to be light and airy. The living space was very, very accommodating. It has a forward cockpit that you all said this is a really useful feature to have, especially in the tropics. Forward facing chart table and the sailing characteristics of this boat are remarkably good. We also found the interior fitting to be above average. For a production catamaran, the joinery, the level of fit out is pretty good. There were some questions about that forward facing door and some of our patrons asked those questions when we were lucky enough to interview Leopard Management in a test sale after the Annapolis Boat Show. If you want to see that interview, the link is above. But Leopard were gracious and honest enough to answer those questions and we felt pretty reassured talking to a delivery skipper about the actual realities of ownership of a Leopard Catamaran. So overall we were pretty pleased. This was the second time we had taken a look at Leopard and we were pretty pleased and we'd be confident in a boat like this to cross oceans or to just cruise the Caribbean islands alike. Well done Leopard, this is a thoroughly well deserved score in at 9th place, Leopard 45 32.9. Coming into eighth place is the St. Francis 50 Catamaran. Now we really love this boat and you did too. So overall, the score of 33.6 was well deserved. Now, what did you love about this boat? Well, let's look at the positives first. The helm is pretty amazing. You can see 360, it's well protected. The visibility is absolutely fantastic and something you would really want on passage. The quality of build is apparent throughout the boat from the running gear, the standing rigging and also the interior of the boat. This again is a semi custom build. Everything is over engineered. It is thought out for the sailor. So hand holds galore. The ability to move safely around a boat at sea should not be underestimated. Joinery is bespoke. The fit out is absolutely divine. You can really see this as a beautiful and easy living space to occupy. Well done St. Francis. We absolutely love your boat and the public do too. So St. Francis 50, 33.6 out of 50. In seventh place, we have the first of the chic French designers and this is Privilege, the Privilege 510 Catamaran. You awarded this 33.7. Now I was absolutely blown away by the finish of this boat. No expenses spared. It is absolutely stunning. 
the ability to customize this boat almost infinitely means that you are buying a very very well built bespoke and luxurious boat to me this was one of the most luxurious catamarans we saw so if chic french design and the ability to cruise the world in abject luxury is your idea of retirement or what you're going to do with a lottery win and you have those funds lying around take a look at the privilege 510 it really is an absolutely amazing craft 33.7 congratulations privilege Coming in at number six and just before the top five, the sexy French catamaran Outremer 51. Now this was one of my favorites and you scored it 34. We actually scored this a lot higher in our review. So what did you like? Well, the interior, it is light, it is airy, it is Scandinavian feel and it looks really well built. The forward facing nav station is a must for long ocean crossings but overall we found this to be such a beautiful boat I could really see myself zipping across oceans with or without kids and doing it at speed and in safety. This is a really beautiful boat. As you know, the 45 has been made famous by La Vagabond. The 51 is the bigger sister and there is now a 55 with the Versa helm coming out. Overall, we love this. You didn't love it as much as we did, but it is still a beautiful boat. I was also lucky enough to go and test sail an Outremer 51. I am blown away by the kindness of Outremer, but more blown away by the performance of this boat in light airs. We are looking at 8.6 knots of boat speed in under 10 knots of breeze. I was a very, very happy boy. Well done, Uchimer. The 51, 34 out of 50, fantastic boat. So we've seen catamarans 10 to five. Before we go to the top five, which I know that you guys are really excited about and anxious to get to, let's take a quick look at the catamarans that didn't make it to the top 10. Remember, this is based on your votes. We did 19 reviews and one boat had to come in 19th. This is going to be the Trimaran Neil 47. Now a lot has been written on the internet about the Neil 47. Let me concentrate on some of the positives. She is light, she is airy, but more than that, she is fast. This boat has won awards for speed. She won the ARC 2019. So congratulations to Neil for winning that accolade. In 18th place is the XS12 by Beneteau. Now this boat is based on a Lagoon 40 hull with a Lagoon 40 deck mold. You felt that the interior and both exterior were not as well put together or luxurious as the Lagoon 40. You did not like the aft helm seats and you felt that the interior again was inferior to the Lagoon 40. Despite this being 30,000 more, if you want a Lagoon 40, go and buy yourself a Lagoon 40. Coming into 17th place is the Fontaine Pajot Astrea. Now this is a firm favorite with the charter and there is no doubt it is a beautiful looking boat. 28.1 out of 50 as scored by you. But despite a light and airy interior, the options list on this seemed pretty high and I am still not impressed and neither were you by this tie rod system for a steering system for an ocean going boat. So for the Estrella 42, 17th place. In 16th place brings us the Majestic 530 Catamaran. This is a huge boat which has got so many berths. It is largely customizable. This one had a fish tank. There is a new model out of this boat which has slightly prettier lines, but 16th place for the Royal Cape Majestic, well done. Into 15th place is that favorite with circumnavigators, the Ark and Liverboards, the Lagoon, and this is the Lagoon 42. We really like the interior. 30.7 is what you gave this. If you want to see the full review, it is all available on our channel. Well done, Lagoon. In 14th place is the Argentinian built Antares 44. Now there is no secret, we absolutely love this boat. It is so well built and so beautiful, but you only scored it 31.8 out of 50. Despite the quality of the interior, you felt that it was slightly dated in look, and you also felt that the $1 million price tag for a 44 foot Catram was a little bit excessive. 
The Naughty Tech 46 by Bavaria Yachts takes 13th place. You, like us, did not like these aft helm positions. Please listen and learn, manufacturers. 31.9 out of 50. But the interior is light, it's beautiful, this boat is fast, and we actually were really taken with the quality of little things like the joinery and the way the boat is put together. So actually, this boat we felt should have scored higher, but congratulations, Naughty Tech. In at 12 and just shy of top 10 is the Katana 53 by Katana Yachts. Again, it is the aft helm station. Some people love them, some people hate them. Personally, you didn't like them, so 32.3 was the final score. However, lovely forward-facing chart table, a very, very bespoke build, and a very, very luxurious build. Daggerboards and performance are the name of the game here. So if you want a fast, luxurious boat to take you around the world, Katana 53. And just missing out on the top 10 position is the Maverick 440 by Maverick Yachts of South Africa. This is a very well built boat, 32.6 out of 50, you awarded it. However, you felt that the design was a little clunky, bulkheads where they shouldn't be, things that really were tripping hazards, and overall the use of space for such a premium 44 foot yacht could have been better. But nonetheless, well done Maverick. We now get onto the top five catamarans as voted by 4,500 of you. Straight in at number five, the Sea Wind 1260. Now this was a surprise for us. Now we absolutely love this boat, but we did not think that you would love it as much as we did. There is so much to love about the Sea Wind. 34.1, and for a boat that comes in at half a million dollars, there is so much good stuff here. Those massive opening windows are an absolute necessity if you are going somewhere warm. The boat is very, very well put together. The trifold door gives you so many options. One door, two doors, three doors open. A massive inside, outside living area, forward and backwards helm seats, barbecue sinks, modular furniture. Richard Ward is a genius in putting this boat together. There is so much innovation here, we were blown away. A well-deserved 34.1 out of 50. Congratulations, Seawind. Fourth place goes to the South African boutique builder Neisner and the Neisner 500 SE. This is a very, very pretty boat, both inside and out, and you thought so too. 34.2 out of 50. Now the interior of this boat is completely customizable. It is beautiful. The quality of joinery and woodwork is absolutely fantastic. It is also very, very reasonably priced. You will get a Neisner 500 SE for less than the cost of a comparable size production cat. A beautiful boat. And this is a boat that we were just blown away with just how aesthetically appealing it was. It's one of those things you look back at the boat and think, yes, that's a beautiful, beautiful beautiful boat. Well done Neisner, we really like this boat and you did too and I believe that she is well deserving of the fourth place that she was awarded. Would we go around the world on this? Absolutely, in a heartbeat. A fantastic boat, 34.2 out of 50, fourth place, well done Neisner. Coming in at number three is the Balance 526 by Phil Berman and his team. This is a beautiful and very, very sexy boat. There was so much to love about this. 34.4 out of 50, you scored it. Where to start? Let's start with the Versa Helm system. This is genius. It's now been implemented by other boats, including the Uchimay 55 and the new Balance 442 will incorporate this as well. So beautiful inside and out, lightweight composite materials, a lovely, lovely touch with the woodwork and the zebra wood on this model, and lots of really keen and beautiful innovation. Storage systems, a boat that would be very, very fast, very, very capable of taking a couple or a family safely around the world. We absolutely love this boat. Phil Berman, you have done an absolutely sterling job with the Balance 526, congratulations. Second place goes to the exquisite X5 by Tamas and his team. This boat is exquisite in every respect. 35.7 out of 50 you awarded it. The build quality of this boat was absolutely amazing. We have yet to see any, any manufacturer put so much love into the construction of a boat. Everything is thought out. Build quality is legendary. The nod to innovation, the backups for that innovation should you have to rely on mechanical systems, all being thought out by Tamas. 
things like a dedicated tool storage locker system. Again, so simple, but yet no one else does it. Every single component of this boat is top of the line, and this boat was the closest interior to any boat that we have seen to match an interior of an upmarket apartment. Honestly, if you want to go around the world in the ultimate luxury, where no expense is spared when it comes to detail or quality, then the Exquisite X5 is something you should really look into. The newer models coming onto the market are going to benefit for some pretty spectacular weight saving. So fantastic, well done, Tamas. You have created an absolutely divine boat and your dedication and love for your craft are evident in your products you produce. This is an amazing boat and you should be absolutely proud that you and your workforce in South Africa have created something so beautiful, so elegant and so worthy of second place. 35.8 for the Exquisite X5, a beautiful, beautiful boat. And there can only be one winner and we are proud to announce first place going to, yes, it's the Sea Wind 1600 from Sea Wind Catamarans in Australia. You overwhelmingly voted this number one and it pipped the exquisite X5 to first place. So 35.8 for the Sea Wind 1600. Congratulations to Richard Ward and his team. So what did you all love so much about the Sea Wind 1600? The positives, the build quality is absolutely fantastic. The attention to detail and safety is unsurpassed. Performance, look at the performance statistics and figures for both real time and theoretical performance of this boat. It is well built, the dagger balls will give it a fantastic pointing ability and she is gonna be oh so fast and oh so comfortable on those long passages. There is also an almost obsessive level of detail and care that goes into making this boat as safe and well laid out and well built as possible. The interior is bespoke and the quality of woodwork and upholstery is absolutely fantastic. This is a real quality piece of work. However, from a practical point of view, it has a large and well-appointed nav station. There is 360 degree visibility for those night watches and for those on the off watch, the living areas, the cabins are all so beautiful, so well thought out. Do not forget this is a performance catamaran and with a 23 knot top cruising speed you will find yourself getting across oceans in abject luxury comfort and safety before you know it and so the 2020 catamaran of the year seawind 1600 congratulations richard ward and all his team at seawind i hope you guys enjoyed that episode let us know what you think of those results did they surprise you were you expecting those top five catamarans what did you think of number one let us know in the comments down below. While you're there, if you could give us a thumbs up and click that subscribe button, that would help so much. And we will see you next week with a brand new episode.